Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip, and on this episode, I explore winter in the southern Wisconsin city of Janesville. Now, for the past couple of months, I have been in Southeast Asia and Southern Mexico, so I haven't really had an opportunity to get into the holiday spirit. And nothing says the holidays more than colorful Christmas lights and white fluffy flakes falling from the sky. So come along with me as I explore this Midwestern city of Janesville. Now one of the places I'm staying while here in Janesville is the Guardian Angel Bed and Breakfast. This place has really put me in the holiday spirit. Let me show you why. One thing that stood out to me in Janesville was the architecture. As a matter of fact, I learned that 20% of Wisconsin's National Register of Historic Buildings are located in Janesville. And the holiday light display at Rotary Botanical Gardens was a spectacle that puts the magic into Christmas. Over 400,000 lights, 2,500 luminarias, and 500 dangling icicles hung from the tallest trees in the garden. Hmm. Well, this is pretty cool. Somebody recommended this app called Clio the other day, and it lists all these historic and cultural sites that are near you. It recognizes through GPS. So right now I'm at the Lincoln Tolman House. I can just click on this and uh, find out the hours of operation, any admission fees, and of course, information on the site. So it's pretty cool. The Lincoln Tallman House was built in 1857 in the Italianate style. Its name is derived from a visit by Abraham Lincoln and William Tallman, a prominent lawyer who built the home. It's a fantastic museum to step back in time and see how the affluent lived back in the mid 1800s. Now I typically would not go out of my way to visit a nursery while traveling, but I heard they do something pretty special here at k w Greenery, where they paint poinsettias. So let's have a look. The poinsettia is the most iconic and recognizable holiday plant. However, these painted variety put a colorful spin on the holiday cheer. There are a number of entertainment venues in Janesville. I saw a performance of Miracle on 34th Street at the Janesville Performing Arts Theater and a holiday performance by Elvis at the Armory. There are many cool and unique shops right in downtown to explore. And visiting the Wisconsin Wagon Company felt a bit like being at Santa's workshop. Well, I would say antiquing is traditionally a female activity, but not here in Janesville at Mantiques. Just outside of Janesville is a small community called Milton, where I visited the Milton House Museum. The Milton House opened in 1844 as a stagecoach inn, 
but the venue also doubled as an underground railroad stop for fugitive slaves seeking freedom. Just down the street is the Northleaf Winery, a fantastic venue where they pair wine with their homemade chocolates. Back in Janesville, the Janesville Jets sure put on an exciting exhibition. I'm riding the Zambo. Of course, I couldn't visit Wisconsin without trying some cheese and beer. Well, my excursion here to Janesville would not be complete without doing a little bit of sledding. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh no, oh no, I'm going <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see if I can go straight this time. Those last two runs weren't that good. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be it. <laughs> Well, my time here in Janesville has come to an end. And while I realize this city may not be topped on your bucket list, it is an up and coming city with a revitalization effort underway, especially in the downtown area. So if you're into art, architecture, history, and a whole lot in between, there's something for everybody. And during the holiday season, there is plenty of snow, Christmas lights, and holiday cheer to put you in the spirit of the season. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.